the update had to happen, but hemp is so hard now. Some good news is that there are large planter boxes on the way for indoor hemp growing, but you still lose a lot of space this way. But what can you do? There's no way to keep a low profile and grow a lot of hemp. Or is there? Hi, I'm Pepper the Red, and today I'm going to show you the ultimate hemp base for solo players, group players, or, on a big enough scale, even clans. There's no wasted room. The great thing about this base is it's basically a 2x2, two two, but you can upgrade it. You can make it as big of a base as you need it, and it's not hard to build. Start out with a normal 2x2 two two and surround it in outward facing triangles. Easy, right? Now I tested things, and each square is 4x4 four four seeds. When squares touch, they obviously share a point. So a 2x2 two two is a 7x7 seven seven for seeds, meaning you can grow up to 49 hemp plants inside this building. Find where your door is going to be, and put an airlock on it. Remember to put the outside door on the right. It's very important that you place these two walls before placing the stairs. Now move to one of the edges, build your stair foundations, and they'll snap right into place. Now that they're built, you'll notice that the walls on the outer edges can't be built like this. But don't worry. Upgrade the stairs to stone right away. And as soon as you do, magically, you'll be able to build those walls again. Now about the outside, you can leave these foundations here, but make sure they're sheet metal, just so that people won't pickaxe them down until you upgrade. Put down your doors, and once again, make sure both are facing out. That way you can look outside without people getting inside. Slap on your ceiling, upgrade all the sheet metal, and I wouldn't seal everything off. I would put a ladder hatch in, just so you can have a second floor. And here we are. Here's our entire garden. Except one problem. You can't get out. But if you put down a deployable, that'll fix it. A campfire works, but it can be tricky depending on the land you pick. So I like to use a large wooden box. It adds more storage and allows me to get out. Now we're gonna need a campfire, and of course water purifiers as always, so put those on the other side. They shouldn't interfere with the hemp placement. Look at it, it's so beautiful. We can plant up to 49 seeds here. Or in the case of the large wooden box, maybe more like 47. Now all this space on the stairs? You're probably wondering why I have the stairs here. Well, that's because you can put a lot of things on them. Sleeping bags, chests, repair benches, water barrels, you name it. A lot can go on these stairs. So first, put a chest on the far end, lengthwise. And then turn the other two chests the other way to stack them accordingly. This'll save space, and it'll also let you crouch walk on top of them and jump down. To get on top of these chests and move back and forth, we're going to use furnaces and a bed as sort of a stairway. Even if you place two furnaces in the corner, there's room for a bed and room to still get underneath the stairs. So have at it. Now the water barrel might be tricky, but once you get the alignment right, putting the repair bench behind it should be a piece of cake. Now that you've got enough in your base, it's time to close off these foundations. Give them stone walls, that way no one can see inside, and for all they know, it might not even be honeycombing. Now there's a vulnerability to the space that I need to tell you now. If two foundations are destroyed, the base will crumble. One foundation is fine, it can stand up to that, but two from one side will cause the space to crumble. So make sure you fill in the gaps right away, in case somebody has a rocket launcher and takes down your base in one go. Now you want to get creative with your honeycombing. Honeycomb the outside however you want. I've done this three times now, and there are different ways to honeycomb based on your tastes. But make sure you pick a good one for your tool cupboard. You 
do have the option of putting your tool cupboard inside, but if the raiders get in, that's two birds with one stone, since there's nowhere on the inside to wall your cupboard in. You could also put your cupboard indoors temporarily, and then make a new one on the second floor, destroying the old one. But second floor cupboards are a little iffy, I would be careful about that. And make sure you build your walls high enough so that they can't get to the roof and 2C4 right through your ceiling. A second floor also gives you the option of a back door, which is very important in bases like this. Once you're all done, place some lanterns, maybe a sign, make the place look pretty. And there you have it. You've got a basic design down, and since it starts out small, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm sure there will be many variations of this base. I was really happy to see that this works, and I'll be using it in future builds. If you think you'll be using it too, give this video a like to show your support. If you like the idea, and want to see more unique builds and ideas like this, click that subscribe button, and I promise to keep giving you quality content for months to come. Thank you so much for bringing me to this milestone, guys. And as always, until next time, Pepper the Red, out.